Hi, I'm Linda, and this is No Frills ASMR. I want to look at these old Lionel train catalogs because there's a, something I find pretty interesting about them. Um, it got me thinking about it because I was kind of looking at this Better Homes and Gardens from 1954. And by the way, this magazine at some point got wet. <laughs> and so now the pages, listen to that. <laughs> They're like crinkles galore, maybe too much. <laughs> but anyway, I marked a page here, hold on. Um, no, that's not it, wait, where's my, oh, here we go. <clears throat> so I just wanted to show you this advertisement for the Pontiac Catalina and how it's, you know, it's not a photo of the car, it's illustrated. Like they have an artist come in and paint this up. And I just think that's really cool. <laughs> and that is how all these old um, Lionel train catalogs, see how they're just painted. Um, I just think that's really cool. <laughs> so this one, I mean, look at this boy's face. He couldn't, he couldn't look more excited about the situation going on here. And then here's the guy going, looking at, not the trains, but his son, and feeling that excitement. <laughs> I just love that. Um, and then we have the four trains, and they have s the smoke coming out of the coal train. The lights are turned on. And... <laughs> The excitement of this Lionel with the action of this red going up and just flaring out. The letters are actually moving. I just think it's a great illustration. <laughs> this is probably my favorite one. And to frame this and put it like in a, you know, a child's room, I think would be pretty cool. <laughs> so let's see what we have here. They have four trains lined up. And then a crane with some kind of a magnet situation. And the bridge, the train going over the bridge, the mountains in the background. I mean, it's like such a feeling of adventure, isn't it? <laughs> Lionel trains with, oh, with magna traction for more speed, more pull, and more climb. So they are using magnets. I don't really know much at all. I mean, I shouldn't say that. I know a little bit about Lionel trains, but not a lot. <laughs> How's that? All prices, structural, and mechanical designs and colors in this catalog are subject to change. Let's see, this is from 1954. <clears throat> Young engineers will love these two trains. Can you see the whole book? Let me see. Yeah, you kind of can, I think, if I put it right. right there. So what do we have here? I love, look, the fall colors on the trees. And then here's like a little, I don't know if that's a uh, train stop. I guess it is. It's a little train stop and they're waiting. And the coal in the train. A little covered bridge. Oh, you can't see that. There's like a little covered bridge. And here's the train crossing. You know, there's one of these near where I live and people will try to race. Don't do that, guys. <laughs> Nobody makes trains like Lionel. Look at these illustrations. Here's like a, what is that? Oh, that's the road. I'm not sure what that building would be. Seaboard. It's new, it's exciting, this Lionel work train. The seaboard switcher is a newcomer to the Lionel line. It has magnet traction and worm drive motor. <laughs> wow, look over here, what's happening over here, hold on. Let's see, what are they doing there? 
Or I'm not even sure. Is this like a, a mine? They're pulling stuff out and then sending it up. I guess they send it up on this thing, goes on these lines, and then it dumps it into the train, maybe? I'm not sure what I'm looking at. <laughs> Exciting car news. Read about the famous kettle car, the operating milk car, what? the new barrel car, and the colorful new box car. I mean, look at this illustration. So you have the farm and then the light is on on the train and they make it like, I don't know if you guys can see how that light is like coming out of there. And then you also have the smoke and it's obviously in motion because the smoke's going behind it. It's like such a sense of, I mean, look at the smoke tree. Hear the train blow, it says. Lionel built in whistles and horns. I mean, just so you have an example of what, of what I'm talking about. See, later on in the, after this, I think it was in the 70s, they started to use photos of the actual trains. And you know, <laughs> it's okay. But it doesn't have the same sort of feeling of excitement and adventure that these <laughs> that these have, I feel like. I mean, look at this. You can see the light on here. This the, He's got these barrels, and they're actually falling off the side here. He's shoving them off, I guess. Here's the agent coming out with a barrel. So they're loading all the barrels. These are <clears throat> illuminated, streamlined passenger cars. Look how cool that roof is on there. I took a um, Amtrak from Chicago to Whitefish, Montana, and they have a car that's all glass. I forget what it's called, but it's really cool. But that car would be, people would like camp out in there <laughs> sometimes and sleep, which is kind of, but I went with my kids and my husband, and we rented two, I don't know if you rented, whatever, booked, two sleeper, you know, so one for just my son and I in a bunk, and then my husband and my other two sons had like a family one, and that had a bathroom in it, so we could all kind of share, <laughs> but that was one of the best trips of my life, it was awesome. <coughs> It took forever, <laughs> but it was totally awesome. Lionel illuminated streamlined passenger cars, truly beautiful streamlined cars. A glance will show you the excellence of their modeling. Note the detail of roofs and antenna on the observational car. Where's the antenna? I see the roof. Antenna. Hmm. I don't see it. I don't quite know what they mean. <laughs> All equip equipped with operating couplers. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The flashing star of the Southwest. Ooh, look at all the cows. And a guy on his horse. The Texas Special. Watch her flash by the crossing. This is the famous speed liner of the Southwest. How colorful and real. The O-Gage 4 freight car. Here we're getting into winter time now. This kid's sledding up by the track. And these people are, wait a minute. Oh, they're skiing. I thought they were playing golf. <laughs> I was like, why are they playing golf? They're skiing. That makes more sense. And they're waving at the train. Sunoco. The new Fairbanks Morse power giant. Look at that thing. <laughs> it does look like a giant. I mean, just the way it's painted, it gives you this feeling of like bold, like how big this thing is, you know. Lackawanna. And over 
here we have a flashing rotary beacon. And then it looks like they're, I don't know what they're doing up here, maybe a farm, I don't know. And then it comes down the hill to here. Loco and Tender. It's like an old pickup truck. And see how these are like in motion? I just think it's, I think all this artwork is so cool. Engineered for a lifetime of real road, of real railroad operation. The thrill of power, beauty, and speed. It has puff smoke, just like the real ones. Okay, hold on. First, let's look here. There's the puff smoke. And there's the puff smoke coming out there. Look, there's a little church steeple and then some farms. Puff smoke, just like the real ones. Your steam loco will puff real as life smoke. Smoke pellets are provided with all locos having smoke generators. That's pretty cool. Wow. <laughs> Didn't know that. Magnificent realism and superpower. Golden West special. the New York Central and the Santa Fe. The Southern. These guys all working on the train car. My, um, my great grandfather was a doctor in the old, in the old West. And to go from town to town, he had, I think this is right, he'd put all his gear he needed. He was also a photographer, but anyway. And he had one of those train cars where you had to go like, <laughs> and you pushed it, and it would go down the track. I just thought of that. Oh, look at the steam liner in the background. So they must be loading stuff onto the train. The swift, mighty southern. For full details on operating milk car, see page 35. Yeah, I want to operate a milk car. That's neat. They say shown above. Do you see the milk car? I guess it's... I can't quite read it. It's blurry. Whoops, sorry. I can't tell. Is that the milk car? Page 35. Okay, we're coming to it in a minute. Oh, look at this one. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. Now... Mm, that. Hold on. Can I get the whole thing in? Because there's a cowboy over here. I don't think I can get it all the way in here. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll do one side at a time. But look, okay, we have a Saguaro cactus and then the mountains. And then the skyline is like this gold. I mean, talk about getting a sense of feeling. And then this giant Santa Fe coming in. Now, back in the 50s, most people, or more of the population, I think, was on the East Coast. So for a little kid to see this, it was like seeing the Old West movies come to life, you know? You're like, I must have this dream. <laughs> and then here we go. Here's the cowboy on his horse. I mean, this is probably my favorite ad so far. I wish I could get the whole entire... are all lined up, ready for takeoff. We've got the stock car, the box car, the reefer car. Hmm, they carry weed? No. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> the Sunoco oil car, the MP box car, the New York City box car, New York Central. 
the GN boxcar Great Northern. I see MP is Missouri Pacific. A reefer is a refrigerator car. Just <laughs> the Rock Island boxcar. And another Rock Island. The barrel car. The operating boxcar. Cable car. Western Pacific. Car, the Pens Pennsylvania boxcar, the Western Pacific boxcar. My stomach's crawling. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. <laughs> I should have before I. <laughs> the automobile car, and the SP boxcar. What is SP? Southern Pacific. The cement hopper. The searchlight car, wow. I bet that was a cool one. The NS, no, the N5C caboose. The cattle car. The dump car. The lumber car. I like the cattle car. You could, I wonder if they gave you little cows. You go do, 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 do. Here's the milk car. Page 35, they say they show it to you working. Let's see what they say. Lionel Milk Car and Platform is the top favorite. Press the unloading button on your remote controller. Wow, how futuristic. And your train man delivers milk cans one by one out of the platform. You reload the cans through the roof hatch. They're making it look like a guy's going to come out and hand these off. Now, <laughs> I want to know what really happened. I have to see if there's a YouTube video showing this in action. I wonder. I don't know. <laughs> Operating hopper, gondola, and barrels. LV hopper car. LV. LV. Lehigh Valley. Crane car. Work caboose. Let me talk about their couplers. Line up your pike with Lionel operating accessories. So you're there with a magnet, putting those down, those pipes in. And then these are falling down here. Oh, it's lumber. It's a lumber yard. So they clean off the um, bark and send the lumber. together. Here's all the little accessories you could get. And here's an advertisement for your fishing. Spinning tackle, reels, rods, lures. Let's see what this one has. I won't take quite as much time with these. because Look at that though. That's a cool ad. How they're all kind of coming out at you. That's pretty neat. Another boy and his dad. Lionel's famous GE 44 ton diesel workhorse. Oh, look, they're advertising for the Navy and shredded wheat. There it is, going down the track. Coming out of the tunnel. That was always my favorite, was to set him up coming through a tunnel. <laughs> so cool. The Missouri Pacific, the Santa Fe. Your mighty steam loco. High balls down the track, puffing white smoke, beaming headlight hauling freight or passenger cars. I think this is the one that um, my brother had. I feel like it was just sort of a plain black and it had a light. I don't recall smoke, but maybe you had to like buy pellets and we just didn't do that. I don't remember. I'll have to ask him sometime if he remembers. Um, yeah. I don't. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. <laughs> because obviously girls wouldn't want a train that looks like a train. <laughs> they would want a pink train. Or at least that's what the men who built trains thought. So they created a train that was pink. Just for girls. And I think it didn't do very well. I think they made it like maybe one or two years. And so they became pretty collectible because there just weren't that many. And the ones that were out there, I think, were, you know, probably in pretty good shape because, I don't know. Um, I mean, let's be real. I, uh, even, even as a girl, believe it or not, I'd want a train that looks like a train or that looks like that red <laughs> western one. Not pink. But... <clears throat> Now she can do anything he can do, but I appreciate them, you know, with Lionel's new exclusive pastel train set for girls. Four girls in fashion right colors with cars to match. So you'll be fascinated by the cars. There's a robin's egg blue, New York Central pacemaker boxcar, and a buttercup yellow MKT boxcar to go with it. There's a lilac-colored Lehigh Valley Hopper car, a pink New York Central gondola car, plus a sky-blue Pennsylvania illuminated caboose. So these were all... So here's the pink and the... What do they call it? Buttercup yellow or something? And the um, pastel lilac color. For boys pulling a man sized freight set. <laughs> Puff smoke, just like real locomotives, your steam loco puffs real as life smoke. Smoke pellets or smoke liquid are provided with all locos having smoke generators. Yeah, I can't say I recall ever having smoke, but we probably just, you know, didn't. Or maybe ours didn't have a smoke generator, I don't recall. The brute strength of the new 600 plus. You know, I think, um, I think these pink, <clears throat> these pink ones were one of those collectibles that I feel like for a while they went way, way up in value. But now they're not quite as valuable. But I think Lionel trains in general were, um, like super collectible for a while because the people who played with them as kids became adults. But now a lot of those people are getting old enough that they're kind of, you know, selling off their collections. So there's the market's a little flooded and people aren't as interested in collecting them. But I think they'll probably come back around because you just can't get anything quite like what these were, you know? I think I'll try to <clears throat> set mine up and maybe I can just record a video of it going around in circles sometime. That could be fun. Oh my gosh, guys. Sorry, my stomach is growling. I gotta go eat. I'm gonna have to take a break. I just drank some water. That probably will make it worse. <laughs> I kind of been doing this, you know, what do you call that? Fasting thing. Um, but I still drink coffee. And I think as soon as I drink coffee, but I try not to eat until after 11 a.m. Okay. The brute... <laughs> not that you need it. <laughs> the brute strength of the new 600s plus magnet traction. The... I don't think the... Um, I was going to say they're not as good, but this one's pretty good. It got the lights. But I do think that other catalog has even better. Here's the sawmill. Let's see what's the best. Um, oh, what do we have? A cartoon? There's a hobo on that freight. The policeman sees him. Watch the chase. And then they show the policeman chasing the, the hobos off the train. <laughs> Hudson 14-wheeler for long, long hauls or tough road work. <clears throat> Action-packed operating brakeman set. <laughs> Is he falling off? Just look at that brakeman duck to avoid being hit. Oh, here he is. Oh, golly. That's <laughs> scary. Ooh, 
Lionel's famous New Haven and its new running mate, the spectacular Milwaukee Electric. Look, Dad, the culvert loader's got a real motor. It loads culvert pipe sections automatically, just like a real crane. For streamlined thrills. Oh, look, I like this. So here we have the Swaro cactus and the guy on his horse and the woman and her son all looking at the train getting unloaded. I'm sure that would be a um, thing you'd do for entertainment back in the old days. <laughs> Go watch the trains. Shredded wheat and Wrigley spearmint gum. Auto loader. Oh, look at the old cars loaded on here. That's kind of cool. First to make the run super tracking, so it's winter time now. It's like a frozen lake. And here we are going under a bridge. This guy with his red and black, um, you know, wool coat. The D and RJ Dreamliner of Western Roads. There's another auto loader. Crack Super O Luxury Liners. Here's the Canadian Pacific. Here's some people. Folk. I never know how to say it. Norfolk Western. I don't know why that word messes me up. <laughs> That's kind of a cool picture. Oh, Wrigley must have paid to have all their ads in here. <laughs> There's the Lionel Lion. You can operate all Lionel rolling stock on Super O track. Yeah, they had different size of trains. I have trains, so I'll pull them out sometime if anyone's interested. We could look at like the different types of track, maybe. There's another Wrigley Spearman and shredded wheat. I guess that's what they actually sold, huh? Ooh, look at that. In their kitchen. Oh no, it's not. I thought it was their kitchen. It's like in the basement with the bar, <laughs> like the cool countertop, <laughs> like that form like I looked at the other day. And then they have it all set up. And then this little kid comes and he starts grabbing it and breaks it. <laughs> I've seen that happen before. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh, what is happening? We've got a rocket ship and we've got things flying. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, hold up. We've got the train with the smoke. I mean, this is some nasty, red-hot, billowy black smoke. <laughs> and then we've got a U.S. Army um, car, and it has rockets flying off. And there seems to be a rocket coming from home base here. And then we've got a U.S. Navy rocket. What year is this? This must be... What year is this? This has got to be the 60s, right? 1959. Look at this. Here's another rocket. So this one's all like rocket. Missile, not rockets, missiles. IRBM missile launching platform with exploding target car. Yes, please. So it goes. And then this car goes. I gotta say, I've never seen this before. I like, I like the idea of that. All right, let's see what they show us here. <laughs> Is that what? Look at this, you guys. Okay, so we have the train car, and then there's a tank. I don't know the names of all my army vehicles, so, <laughs> but there's a tank, and then something army with a missile launcher, maybe, and a light, maybe, and a saddle. And 
some kind of uh, ducky boat kind of thing. <laughs> and then it looks like another big light maybe in the tank. And a, sh a um, like a, I don't know, I want to call it a machine gun, but I know that's not probably proper language. <laughs> One of those blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Supplying the outpost of freedom in our largest state. The new Alaskan outfit. Oh, so these were taken up to Alaska to guard us probably from what the, the Russians at the time, I think. Four car Alaskan freight. <clears throat> oh, here they tell us. Marine Corps anti-aircraft and medical truck. Searchlight truck. Duck car. Boy, I, I, I nailed that on the head. <laughs> Marine Corps radar and medical truck anti-aircraft and sound truck interesting uh, another anti no tank and sound truck single gun tank has revolving turret both vehicles removable for maneuvers tank and sound truck does that just mean the tank makes the sound I'm not sure marine corps diesel Flat car with arch trestle bridge and rotating radar antenna. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this one. Look at the old west print. <laughs> look how this looks cool, man. And here are all the um, like cowboys and well, I think that's just more cowboys. So. <laughs> but anyway, pioneers. I guess that's. Although these guys have definitely been up to trouble. You can tell by the way he's holding his gun up. He's done something he's proud of. U.S. Mail. This is so cool. As the general barrels toward you down the track, you'll suddenly be back in a world of Indian attacks, bowling frontier outpost. Oh, sorry, brawling frontier outpost vigilante justice. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. That's exciting what's this guy doing packed and convenient take me home carrying case cute so you bring it to your friend's house the new smoke puffing bo with new exciting load cars i gotta get a sip of water guys hold on look there's a, a helicopter and then a load of What do they say about this? Uh, black car with Christmas trees. Hmm. A banjo signal. A warning device found at country crossings. As train nears, red light flashes, banjo arms swings to and fro. Oh, is that what that is? So it just goes ching, 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 ching. I don't see this. New helicopter flat car. Wow. A modern diesel freight salutes the busy beaver steamwork. What is this one here? States mail car, the Santa Fe. That, that looks pretty nice. Blue and gold. And there's the old Santa Fe that they used to draw a really cool photo. <laughs> now it. And some Native American squirrel cactus. A Pueblo. They're on like a butte right here. There's a So here's a missile car. I don't think I've ever seen that, like in person. I don't know, maybe. I'm trying to think. They do like a setup sometimes, you know, like, you know, when you're out, you see like the big ones people have set up. But I can't recall seeing that. 
Here's a chicken car and a guy sweeping it out. Oh, here we go. Here's a U.S. Army with the missiles. The finest locos and the finest rolling stock deserve the finest track. Lionel Super O. And here's missile launcher outfit. Super O track. The defender of tomorrow. New helicopter launching car. They're showing it like it. Is somebody holding it here? Like what? I don't quite. I want to know. <laughs> Operating helicopter launching car. A thrilling surprise action car. After you've wound the spring in the launching platform, copter takes off by remote control. So this is one of those super lightweight ones and you kind of like, like a rubber band situation. The helicopter descends harmlessly to the earth for another takeoff. <laughs> Very cool. And then all of these lined up. Ooh, and there's more missiles here. That's very exciting. Five star general. Here he is puffing down the track. So he must have loaded this up with those smoke pellets. The Virginia. It's an old ambulance. Over the busy yards she roars, hauling all new cars for 59. Yeah. Okay, this is cool. Here we have the rocket or missile. I keep calling it a rocket missile launcher. So it's like a flatbed and then it shoots this off. So here and here's another one. And then that goes car that just you can see it's like tch, tch, tch. <laughs> what does it say about it let's see where is it exploding target car a missile hit from Lionel's number 6650 missile launching car um, launching platform explodes car spring loaded mechanism sets off explosion and the car reassembles easily <laughs> fire the missile and explode the target car see the cop chase the hobo the detail perfect great northern sweeps up and over a bridge whips around a hairpin turn without mishap thanks to magnet traction a swell outfit for railroaders who like target action and plenty of it. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> well, I would like to see that in action. Here's the mi missile launching car, which is this. Press firing pad and launching unit's pneumatic action causes it to rise skyward. How does it When on target, it is triggered and the missile soars towards its target. When on target, it's triggered. Interesting, very interesting. I want to see it in action. Husky 14 wheelers. Oh, look at the horses going in and out. That's pretty neat. It's a circus car. A traveling aquarium car. <laughs> Another auto loader. Circus car. While circus horses come out of car by remote control, parade through corral and re-enter the car. So they're kind of like on something where they slide around in circles. Is that it? That's pretty cool. Does the aquarium car do anything? See exotic fish swimming, illuminated interior portholes on either end, swimming action controlled by an on and off switch. Okay, that is pretty cool. <laughs> so they actually swim around. These guys. 
this at a newsstand. What is this? Can we see that? I can't see that. I feel like it's a sport thing, but no. Oh, I know. It's what time the trains show up. I guess that's what it is. He's got a clock. Oh boy, here's some more missile action. I hope he doesn't hit the aquarium. My goodness. Shooting it off towards the helicopter, maybe. Oh no, he's hitting the exploding. The Santa Fe, more horses, Saguaro cactus over here. Mm, something else that's exploding here. Exploding ammo dump. When hit by a missile, this ammunition dump explodes. It reassembles easily. Tracks and things you could buy for your tracks. 32 people. Grass. Trees. Signs. I'm looking for the pellets for the smoke. Here they are. Smoke. Pellets. Put pill in smokestack and locomotive puffs clean white smoke odorless and safe 50 tablets per bottle for 50 cents hmm I wonder like how long a pellet would put off smoke for was it like a because sometimes these things you know with toys they can be a little disappointing <laughs> you put it in it's like 10 seconds I don't know I can't say I remember this a railroad map that's kind of neat that would be a neat thing to look at i wonder if i have one of these somewhere i have to look through my stuff okay i gotta go eat lunch oh my god you guys i'm sorry my stomach is absolutely going berserk right now i think i'm thinking about eating <laughs> that's embarrassing but i'm not gonna start I do like the bridges with the tunnels and stuff. Oh, those are just bridge. They're for holding up your track, I guess. But the tunnels, I always loved going through a tunnel and then you see the light. So you'd be looking in this way and the train's coming through and you see the light coming at you. That was so exciting. <laughs> and then more fishing lure, or I mean, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? real <laughs> whoa anyway maybe uh maybe next time I pull one of these out we could I don't know how I'd do it show that off a little bit <laughs> I do love the sound of it going whoosh well this is a pretty awesome cover right here I think that um if you did like a little framed collection with some of these <laughs> that could be pretty awesome yeah <laughs> all right guys linda's gotta go eat <laughs> i'll talk to you soon thanks for watching let me know if you like enjoyed this because i do have oops i do have some others <laughs>